uh, YouTube. It's your boy Freddie B, aka the Urban Fisherman, coming back at y'all again with another one. Giving y'all a quick little update on what's going on with the Blue Explorer here. Check it out. So I just came back from the tag agency. I got my tag, the registrations for the boat, all the paperwork, been in line for hours getting that. And I just wanted to go ahead and let y'all see what I've been gathering. Like I said, build, instead of building a brick wall, just lay one brick every day and you'll look up and you'll have a wall. That's why I say little bit at a time, little bit at a time. But I went down to Bass Pro. I got all this stuff you see here. And then this stuff here are some things that I grabbed from Amazon. I actually need to get these papers out of. So, all right, so these things here are the things that I grabbed from Bass Pro. Bass Pro also has a uh, boulders checklist, so y'all can get that list as well. And you can find that all the things you need for your Pacific boat at Bass Pro Shop. The place I go, this is my candy store. This is where I buy all my stuff. And then back here are the things that I grab from Amazon so anyways guys let me um show y'all what I got so I got a six gallon gas tank which like I said I used to go out with my buddy with the same boat like this but it had you know it was had a steering wheel and he had a 25 horsepower and we would literally run all day and only burn half a tank so I'm hoping this six gallon gas tank gets me the way I need to get if anything, I'll get another one or the 12 gallon tank and install that and maybe put that one under here as a backup tank. So I can get a little bit more distance on this hill, little John boat, but I'm hoping not to go too, too far. All right, so I bought this here. It's a waterproof case from Bass Pro Shop so that I can um, put all my safety equipment in it, which I got the whistle, with the mirror and everything you need there for safety. I also got the flares. This one here you hit and it shoots it up into the sky. No gun needed. Pretty much just fires off on its own. Um, what else we got in here? Got this here so it hooks to the gas tank. Goes here so that I can hook up the hose as y'all see this is a mercury uh hose that should hook to my motor hopefully i hopefully ain't get the wrong thing but it does say mercury so hopefully that works these here ah oh, yes that's right wow goes to the oars which i do have they have longer ones but when i was in bass pro they only had one of the long ones so i got the other two which i did not bring out i will go inside and grab those in a second you need your little air horn as you can see this is all bass pro shop stuff and you don't need it but i went ahead and got it anyway which is this fire extinguisher here which i'll figure out where i want to put it at on this boat don't need it for a boat this size but i'm always good to have one uh the radio i got a handheld which i've been had it's inside of the house you need a throwable which I got here, as y'all can see, that's the throwable. Put that in, all right. And then the life jackets. Now this is a four pack of life jackets. Um, I'll probably put this in the old yeller and I'll take the loose ones I have cause since this is in a nice neat pack, I'll put them in that boat and I'll bring the other loose ones over here. I'll probably just put two in this boat. Now, the stuff that I grabbed from Amazon. This here basically is your hour meter. It gives you the RPMs, it's waterproof. It's 
Bowls be pretty easy to install. You just wrap this cord around this spark plug. So this way I'll know how many hours I've put on the boat. The guy I bought the motor from told me it had 35 hours, but yeah, until I put it on the computer, I really don't know what the hours would actually be. So servicing, I still more likely gonna have to do sooner than later. Just even though he said everything was serviced, you can't take anybody's word for it, but that's that. This here is ah, the lights. So this would be your navigation light. Just screws on with these clips right onto the John boat. So it'll hook right here, basically on the side, just screw it down. You're able to take it off, put it back on. Works with a battery, so you don't need, you know, to hook a actual boat battery in here, just some regular AA batteries. And then this one here is the 360 light. And you put these poles here together, screw it onto the back, and that's pretty much that. So that gives you, so you can leave out early in the morning, try to beat some of that crowd, or come in late, you have that down. Here we got the trailer lights, submersible trailer lights. You even got a little light that goes on the side, which I have to get mounted on here. And it comes with reflectors, I didn't know that, all right. That's good. So, gotta get that installed. And here we have, this is an anchor. Came with the rope, I think it's 50 feet of rope with a little, small, little red anchor. Actually, no, this is the ball here. So you can unhook it, and basically, if you need to go chase down a fish, you can come back and retrieve your anchor. And this is only 50 feet, so can't do too deep of water with this here anchor, but it's be cool for the sandbar, stuff like that. Now here is the main thing that I wanted to get, which is the cover for this boat. As y'all can see, it is dirty once again. And the mango tree next to it is not helping at all. Uh, let me see, where's my pocket knife? The mango tree is definitely not helping at all. Let's see, a little small pocket knife here. Get up under here, there we go. Probably need to sharpen this knife a little bit. But, it still cuts. And it's kinda hard to do with one hand. So, here's the cover. Nice little blue cover to put on top. So, as y'all can see, I'm pretty much getting this stuff here together almost ready i do need to go inside and grab the oars let me grab the oars for y'all and show you all those real quick give me a second and i'll be right with you all right these are pretty much it as y'all can see fairly long i'm guessing this thing is probably about, about five feet long these here i don't know oars paddles whatever you want to call them but that's pretty much just what they had. The other ones are a little, little bit longer and it has the little red or green cap on the end that you use. And you take basically these, dropping everything. You take these and then these little holes here slides in here so that you can basically, I guess you would sit here and pull and roll the dang boat. You know, it would come out over in here and hit the water and you would roll it from here i don't think that would quite work definitely probably would need some long ones to make that happen but you gotta have paddles on the john boat and make sure you have them i guess if you get caught get stuck you use that to get on in with but that's pretty much it i may buy another set of these that's longer but for right now this is what they had. I wasn't wasting no time. I grabbed them and I was ready to go. So I gotta put all this stuff here together. I gotta put this safety stuff into this box with the flares and everything and get all this here together. So that's what I'll be working on. And y'all will see me on the water very soon. Very, very soon. And then I got to put the motor on, which I took off right now. It's over on the porch. I gotta drop the motor on and I'm actually gonna bolt the motor in. Instead of me taking the motor off and on and on and off and everything else, 
I'll mount that right on there and bolt it through so I have no problems with it slipping pulling it in and off off and on because it's pretty goddamn it's not super heavy it's a hundred and something pounds but nobody wants to be dragging that thing around so I'll mount that on and plus it's less likely for somebody to just come and unscrew it and steal my motor which one of my buddies actually uh they stole his actual winch he went out fishing came back in he had no winch <laughs> but I gotta make the adjustments to this I gotta bring this down and actually slide this forward for this thing to sit on here the right way so that's something else still I have to do I don't know if I want to change this because I'm not a big fan of the wire but we'll see but that's about it I gotta get these lights installed I got a lot of stuff to do guys and again urban fisherman I just giving y'all a little quick update and the next time y'all see me i should be on the water in this thing uh doing my first test run on it and maybe catching the fish or so peace urban fisherman out